Xiaoping was shocked and woken up by the cold wind. I actually passed through. The idol of the wild temple was not strong, and the gourd it was holding suddenly fell and hit him on the head. Xiaoping was lying in the backyard of a Taoist temple deep in the mountains. The Guanzhou knew some medical skills, put on Taoist robes, and used some tricks to hide his eyes, so he fooled the mountain people who lived in eight townships and enjoyed the name of living immortals. Guanzhou only accepts one disciple each year, and Xiaoping was the lucky one last year. In other words, it was the sesame oil money raised by Xiaoping's parents from Mankan, which made the viewer feel sincere. The second old man thought that his son would become a fairy and would not have to suffer in the future, but he didn't know. Xiaoping shuddered, got up and moved out quietly. Taking advantage of the night, we must escape from this ghost place. If he finds out that I'm not dead, I'll definitely die again. During the first few months of Xiaoping's arrival, Bishop Guan read and recognized the scriptures and the eight meridians. He really looked like a kind living fairy. One day, he wanted to share his worries for Guanzu, so he went into the mountains to dig for medicinal materials, who would have dug up a lot of corpses. Xiaoping was horrified, and only then did he understand why all the children who had entered the observation in the past had disappeared. Where did this come to be a fairy? Clearly become a ghost. It is very likely that he himself will end up like this. Xiaoping fled in a panic but before he took a few steps, he was discovered by Lao Dao and was easily brought back. Since then, the living immortal simply stopped pretending, and forced him to practice a strange and obscure formula, used all kinds of extremely precious medicinal herbs while beating or scolding him, and imposed various cruel but not serious punishments. Yuan Shen didn't know what the other party was going to do, but he didn't dare to resist at all. Unfortunately. After practicing for more than half a year, there was still no reaction in the body. Lao Dao had already lost his patience, and it was just this year that he was recruiting again, so he simply prescribed a powerful medicine. The original body was already extremely weak physically and mentally, so he was killed just like that. Xiaoping was walking away from the Taoist temple when a sudden roar came, little bastard, dare to play tricks in front of this old man. The gusts of wind sounded one after another, getting closer and closer to him. This is the voice of the old monster Ching Gong. Xiaoping's face was pale, and he could no longer care about any movement, and immediately fled. But in less than a few breaths, the green robe above his head flashed, and an old man in his sixties suddenly descended from the sky, as impenetrable as a mountain. Xiaoping stopped his figure, his face full of despair. A stinky little doll, trying to escape from the palm of the old man's hand. Don't even look at where this is. The Taoist temple is built deep in the mountains, and it is really difficult for him and a child to escape, as if going to the sky. Lao Dao vented his anger, and suddenly laughed strangely again, staring at him as if he was looking at some rare treasure, the complex emotions in his eyes overflowed, greed, excitement, viciousness. Since you survived the last difficulty without dying, it means that I have succeeded. Haha. <laughs> Xiaoping's heart thumped, and he cried out that it was not good. Just after taking a step back, the other party suddenly raised his arm, and in the blink of an eye, he grabbed his wrist tightly. There was a sudden pain in the wrist, and there seemed to be an extremely weak aura in the danshan. It took the initiative to circle around the eight extraordinary meridians and the acupuncture points of the whole body, and finally returned to the danshan. Lao Dao was stunned for a moment, then stared at him, seemingly even more nervous, surprised, and unbelievable. After that, he repeated it tirelessly several times, until finally his whole body trembled with excitement. Ha ha ha! Don't lie to me! There are indeed immortals in this world. I can finally become an immortal and never have to die again. You 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 you. Lao Dao suddenly cried and laughed, looking like a madman, strange and frightening. At this moment, Xiaoping was very puzzled. According to the original body's memory, here are all mortals, and immortals only exist in legends. 
What does the immortal in the other party's mouth mean? What does this old man have to do with him? Xiaoping had read the script in his previous life and had a lot of experience, and combined with his own experience, he thought of a terrifying possibility. Xiaoping was taken back to the Taoist temple and fell to the ground. This is a stone house, surrounded by strange patterns painted with unknown powder. Every node of the pattern is also inlaid with all kinds of peerless jade, emitting a faint light. The house was obviously airtight, but it was eerily gloomy. Lao Dao has calmed down and has returned to his scheming appearance. A nine-year-old baby who can pretend to endure for such a long time will definitely not be in the pool in the future. It's a pity that you don't have a future. Xiaoping felt chills from head to toe, and he couldn't tell whether it was fear or anger, could it be that when you crossed over, you deliberately rescued your body for the other party to take home? After Lao Dao finished speaking, he took out a set of strange tools and carefully placed them in front of him one by one. He picked up a cold, strange blade, carefully scrutinized it for a long time, and then he seemed to have made up his mind, and his face turned ruthless. Xiaoping's heart trembled, and as the blade fell ruthlessly, his face was full of astonishment. That old man actually inserted the strange blade into his own abdomen. What's even weirder is that no blood was shed. Pft, pft, pft. The sound of the blade submerging into the body continued. There are a total of seven sticks, which are inserted in seven positions such as the lower abdomen, abdomen, and head. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com slowly drilled into the flesh as if alive, until it was completely submerged. Good boy. It seems that you are not only smart, but also courageous. How many self-proclaimed heroes have no dignity before dying, and you didn't ask for mercy? Xiaoping snorted coldly. After Lao Dao finished all this, he sat cross-legged on the ground, his hands were pinching, and he didn't know what to say quickly. Under Xiaoping's horrified gaze, the flesh body in front of him was visibly collapsing and shrinking, the skin became dry and wrinkled, the beard and hair instantly paled, and even the bones and flesh were disappearing little by little. It was as if the essence of the whole body had been swallowed up by evil spirits. He looked horrified, and the old man's body shrank to the size of a child in a blink of an eye. Lao Dao seemed to be in great pain because of this, the old wrinkled dry skin on his face was shaking, and a beast-like sound came from his throat. Sick. Suddenly, with a loud shout, something even more terrifying happened. A black and red mist suddenly emerged from the short body. These black mists exude a thick cold air and a touch of blood, smooth and evil, and seem to have lifelike tentacles that are constantly reaching out to pounce on Xiaoping. Just listening to Lao Dao chanting words again, the black chi danced more and more urgently, and finally suddenly flashed and submerged into the strange body covered by the broad avenue robe. Xiaoping, I have no choice but to be a teacher. It's just that you have spiritual roots but no strength. A black light was thrown towards the pattern on the ground, and several rare jade stones lit up instantly. Xiaoping was shocked, he tried to struggle but couldn't move. The old man smiled yin and yin, and continued to move his hands quickly, chanting strange incantations Xiaoping listened, his eyelids couldn't help getting heavier and heavier, his consciousness gradually blurred, and finally he suddenly fell into darkness. Unexpectedly, Xiaoping was only in a trance for a moment, but he could see clearly again almost instantly. It was pitch black all around, as if it were boundless. He subconsciously looked at himself, and was surprised, I turned into a cyan ball of light. He finally confirmed his previous guess, the old monster really wants to take the house. The formula that the other party asked him to practice must be the legendary Xianjia Gongfa, the purpose is to test whether he has the ability to cultivate immortals. Advanced Qi training, it should be because of that powerful medicine. For Xiaoping, the battle for the home was very dangerous, because he knew nothing about cultivation, and the formula was just getting started. On the contrary, Lao Dao has obviously been planning for many years, and now everything is ready and only owed to the east wind. Xiaoping searched around vigilantly, 
and suddenly saw a dim light in the distance. Could it be, that's his soul? Sooner or later, you won't be able to escape, it's better to grab the first move and fight to the death. Xiaoping's primordial spirit drifted straight toward the shimmer. When he got close, he was surprised. The source of the shimmering light is not some soul soul, but a mysterious and simple jade gourd with jade light flowing. This, isn't this the little gourd that smashed me through? Xiaoping couldn't help but be overjoyed. Being able to come here with him and stay in the sea of consciousness is obviously an extremely powerful baby. This jade gourd must be his hope of winning. Xiaoping came to the jade gourd, but he didn't know how to hold the thumbsized gourd. That old man may come in at any time. If he can't make good use of the jade gourd, I'm afraid it will be bad luck. He was worried and didn't know what to do when suddenly he felt an invisible force pushing the jade gourd and staggeringly came to him. Xiaoping looked at the gourd thoughtfully. He felt that this seemed to be an instinct, it was in his own body, which was equivalent to the sea of consciousness touching the gourd all the time. The scene just now, like controlling muscles, accidentally controlled the sea of knowledge and took the jade gourd in front of him. This kind of home field advantage is very useful for winning the set. Xiaoping immediately used the mysterious gourd as the object to practice how to control the sea of consciousness. Under his control, Hulu could only walk in a straight line at first, and stumbled as if drunk. Gradually, the movement of the gourd began to steadily. Later, Yahoo began to try to turn a corner. Xiaoping anxiously controlled the jade gourd, while spinning up and down around his primordial spirit, he suddenly felt bad, followed by an inexplicable pain that seemed to hit his soul. The next moment, a group of black and red light suddenly burst into this world that belongs to him. The black light group saw him from a distance, and rushed towards him like a hungry tiger. Xiaoping quickly controlled the sea of consciousness, obstructing and squeezing it. The speed of the black light group was like flying, but it suddenly became like a turtle, and the black light expanded and contracted indefinitely, as if it was under great pressure. Sure enough. Xiaoping was overjoyed and felt a little at ease. After all, this was his home court. Impossible. For the past six months, I have tortured you like that. Your soul should have collapsed long ago, but why is it still so solid? An old-fashioned voice emerged from the black light, full of disbelief, shock and anger, also, a child's soul is weaker than an adult's, and my soul is increased by sacrificing my body. Why can't it compare to your little baby? Only then did Xiaoping notice that his light group was obviously larger than the other parties. But he just snorted coldly, and controlled the sea of knowledge to intensify his efforts. Xiaoping was originally an adult with the remnant soul of the original owner. Naturally, the spirit of ordinary people cannot be compared with him. The dark light of the primordial spirit of the old Taoist flourished, although the black light was much weaker, but the speed skyrocketed a lot. Xiaoping secretly screamed, and immediately gave up some control to distance himself. Although the opponent's soul is not as good as his, the black light inside is obviously stronger than his blue light, which means that the mana is stronger than his own. If he is caught up, he is afraid that he will soon be swallowed up. Once the soul is swallowed, it will not be able to re-enter even reincarnation and will never be reborn. Haha! <laughs> My good apprentice, stop at ease, it won't hurt at all when the master swallows you. Lao Dao's voice is like a reminder from hell. Xiaoping's situation is extremely critical. How to do how to do? There was a cold wind behind him, which instantly made Xiaoping shiver. He didn't want to dodge immediately to the side, and at the same time fully controlled the sea of consciousness to block it. At the critical moment, a cloud of black light rubbed him and flew over. Seeing that he missed the attack, Lao Dao was trapped in the quagmire again, and couldn't help sighing slightly. You've been manipulating and escaping for your life like this, and you've run out of mana. Don't make useless struggles. The other party is right, although this is his home court, it does not consume mana. The most deadly thing is, I don't know anything about cultivation, and I don't know the primordial spirit. 
Xiao Ping looked around anxiously, and suddenly let out a small murmur, the Jade Gourd was hit by the black light earlier, but it was unscathed. Lao Dao obviously also noticed this gourd, this, is this the legendary magic weapon? The voice of the black light group was both frightened and greedy. Xiao Ping's thoughts moved slightly, and Yahoo came to him in the blink of an eye. This Jade Gourd was hit by the black light but was unscathed, indicating that it is extremely strong. If the Jade Gourd is used as a weapon, it will definitely disperse the opponent's soul. Xiao Ping immediately used all his strength, and Yu Yu Kanshu www.yuyuganshu.com threw the Jade Bottle at the old Taoist primordial spirit. The old man screamed and wanted to run away. But in the surrounding sea of consciousness, countless pressures came from all directions, and it was difficult to move him by pressing him in place. No. No no no. Disciple, good disciple. I don't want your body anymore. Please forgive me, ah. Boom. The black light group was scattered and turned into a stream of energy that remained in the sea of consciousness. Xiao Ping breathed a sigh of relief, looking at the jade gourd with great satisfaction. His strike exhausted all his mana. If the old way is immortal, then it should be him who is lost. Suddenly, Xiao Ping's primordial spirit felt extremely uncomfortable, and he even smelled a aura. Looking around attentively, it turned out that it was the Dao Dao energy left in the sea of consciousness after the old Dao soul dissipated. If you stay in the sea of consciousness for a long time, the consequences will be incalculable. If Xiao Ping had an expression at this time, it would definitely be extremely ugly. How to expel them? He inadvertently looked at the Jade Gourd, Gourd? I just don't know if I can these alien breaths away. Xiao Ping decided to start trying, and controlled the Jade Gourd to approach a ray of red aura. There was no movement. Xiao Ping felt the Gourd carefully, and at a certain moment there was a sudden resonance, and then his mind moved slightly. The Jade Gourd suddenly flashed, and the remaining breath of the broken old Dao primordial spirit in the Sea of Knowledge was slowly inhaled from the Gourd mouth. After a while, the Jade Gourd's aura converged and returned to him in the blink of an eye. The alien aura of the Sea of Knowledge has all dissipated, and the primordial spirit is once again incomparably comfortable. After a while, Xiao Ping opened his eyes and breathed in the long lost air, his body was soaked in cold sweat. Finally free. Xiao Ping glanced at the corpse on the ground, it was short, old, and ugly. Resisting disgust, he turned over the corpse for a while, but found nothing. Why aren't there any cultivation techniques and secret techniques for seizing homes? Xiao Ping frowned. It doesn't matter if there is no secret art of seizing the house, but the cultivation of immortals is the most important, which is related to whether he can continue to practice. Xiao Ping moved ornaments, knocked bricks, and spared every inch of the Taoist temple. After he searched the entire Taoist temple, not to mention the cultivation method of immortals, he didn't even have a copper plate. This temple seems to be hidden so tightly that no one has ever come, so Xiao Ping is not in a hurry. A month later, Xiao Ping accidentally pressed a finger-sized hole in a very remote corner. Boom! The walls next to it are slightly staggered, revealing a narrow passage leading to the underground. Xiao Ping was slightly overjoyed, but did not leave immediately. Although there is nothing unusual on the surface, who knows if there are hidden weapon traps. Xiao Ping grabbed a rabbit and took a long string. After a while, the rabbit quickly ran into the passage, and disappeared from sight after a few breaths. The long rope in Xiao Ping's hand with the other end tied to the rabbit's hind leg, was constantly being dragged inward. After waiting for a while, the rope stopped swimming. This means that the rabbit is not moving. However, this does not prove that the passage is safe, the rabbit may be killed by the trap, or it may just stop. Xiao Ping tightened the string and pulled it harder. Suddenly a force came from the rope, and it continued to swim. The rabbit is still alive, and continues to move forward after being frightened. After several times like this, no matter how much he pulled, the rope would no longer swim inward, but just loosened, tightened, and loosened. 
Xiaoping tried to pull the rabbit back little by little, and finally confirmed one thing in the end, the rabbit was intact and there were no traps in it. Then he was completely relieved, raised his feet and walked down. The secret room is not big, only two sets of tables and chairs and two boxes are placed. Xiaoping lit the oil lamp on the table and rummaged on the table for a long time. There were only some letters, and there was no cultivation technique he wanted, my wife personally, I have obtained a magical skill for my husband, and I will be able to reunite with your mother and daughter. Madam, it's obviously a cultivation technique, but I haven't been able to practice it for a long time. Why do you think this is? Most of my hair is white, my flesh is slack and my body is full of old age. No, I can't get old. I can't die. I have the cultivation method to become an immortal. I can definitely live forever. These unsent letters can be traced back more than 30 years ago. However, the frequency of his letter writing has decreased significantly since 20 years, and the last letter was written 15 years ago. Xiaoping finished flipping through all the letters and sighed, feeling complicated for a while. This old Tao must have a cultivation method. Since there is no here, it is hidden elsewhere. Thinking of this, Xiaoping turned his eyes to the two boxes. Opening the two boxes, he was instantly shocked and gasped. The first box was actually a box full of gold ingots. It was overflowing when I opened it. At least tens of thousands of. The second box of beautiful jade and jade, you can tell at a glance that they are all rare and supreme treasures in the world. With so much money, I don't know how many Taoist temples can be built. When he moved out the second box of beautiful jade, there was actually a full half of the box of gold tickets. The golden ticket plus the ready-made gold is enough to buy most of the county. There are so many golden tickets, maybe there is a cultivation technique hidden in it. Xiaoping immediately started to check the golden tickets one by one. Lao Dao is just immortal. If you want to ensure that you will not make mistakes when you seize the house, you must study it every day, so as not to become unfamiliar with secret techniques. Sure enough, after all the inspections, I found three excellent brocades. The handwriting on the two silk scripts is the same, which is obviously a copy from the hand of the old Taoist. There is a record of the secret art of mortal body seizing called sacrificing one's body and seizing the soul. By raising the soul with the body and turning it into mana, one can break free from the body and take the body of others. The spirit is the external image of the soul, if the spirit collapses, the spirit will be weakened, it was only then that Xiaoping noticed that the original body's later memories were scattered, pale and chaotic. It turned out that this was all because the original owner was tortured and his soul was greatly damaged. The second one is exactly what Xiaoping wanted to cultivate. This immortal cultivation method is called King Mugong, and the content is obviously the right way, which is completely different from sacrificing one's soul. What's even more surprising is that there are also two spells recorded on it, named Sky Eye Technique and Fighting Object Technique. In the past life, I have only seen spells in the storybook, but in front of me are genuine fairy spells. You will learn it soon. Rao is Xiaoping's soul as an adult, and he couldn't help but be full of joy and dance. When Xiaoping saw the end, his expression suddenly changed, he took the brocade and looked left and right. What's going on? There are only the key sensing chapters and key practice level exercises. He flipped through it for a long time and there really was no follow-up part. Xiaoping looked at the third piece of Jinbo, his face uncertain. This silk book is not a text, but a map of a mountain range, called Feng Ra Mountain. There are valleys and buildings painted on it, and the corner of the mountain is highlighted. Presumably this is where the cultivation techniques are stored. He had no choice but to walk through this storm. Xiaoping put the three pieces of brocade and silk close to his body, frowning at the two boxes of gold and jade, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu. Kam didn't know what to do for a while. With so much gold, he can't take it with him alone. Xiaoping finally picked and picked two pieces of jade with the lowest quality. 
but here is the jade with the worst quality, and it still looks invaluable, which makes him extremely distressed. I just hope that when I sell it, it won't attract coveted. Xiao Ping sighed slightly, then turned away without looking back. The next day, early in the morning. Xiao Ping climbed to the roof of the Taoist temple early in the morning, called out the jade gourd and placed it in front of him, waiting for the sun to come out. The yin qi in it had already been put into another jade bottle by him. The miraculousness of the jade gourd in front of him was also discovered by him inadvertently. One morning this month, he was playing with the jade gourd in the yard. Unexpectedly, he suddenly trembled, and countless white threads of light appeared, frantically pouring into the gourd. This kind of baby is obviously a fairy's baby. It's not an exaggeration to call it a fairy gourd. Xiao Ping was surprised and delighted, but his face was full of doubts. Accidentally looked up and found that the sun had just come out, which was a vague guess. Later, he verified again and again, and found that such a vision would only appear in the fairy gourd one hour after the sunrise. An hour after sunrise, or if there is no sun, will not cause the fairy gourd to have a vision. Even if both conditions are met, as long as the sun is blocked or moved into the house, the vision is immediately interrupted. In the eyes of Xiao Ping's anticipation, the sunrise finally ushered in. In an instant, the sunlight reached the immortal gourd, instantly manifested as solid white filaments, lazing on the emerald green jade gourd, and finally gathered into a bean-sized particle of light, scrambling to squeeze into the gourd. In a matter of seconds, the jade gourd was quickly enveloped in a soft white light, making it extremely mysterious and attractive. An hour later, Bai Guang disappeared into the jade gourd one after another. After so many days, the gourd has been unable to open, I don't know today. When Xiao Ping picked up the fairy gourd, he was pleasantly surprised to find that the weight was much heavier. He hurriedly went to unscrew the gourd cover. The gourd cover, which had been motionless a few days ago, was suddenly lifted. A mysterious liquid glowing green is flowing back and forth in the gourd. Although Xiao Ping didn't know what it was, he also knew that it would definitely work against the sky. This body can't stand even the slightly precious medicinal materials, let alone take the green liquid directly. When Lao Dao was in the Taoist temple during his lifetime, he raised many small animals, either for food or for testing medicines. Xiao Ping grabbed a few rabbits and tied them to a tree outside the Taoist temple. In the event of an accident, it will not destroy the Taoist temple. Then he took a large porcelain bowl, filled it with ordinary water, and finally poured a drop of mysterious green liquid. The green liquid quickly dispersed in the clear water, turning the whole bowl of clear water into a piece of green oil. Xiao Ping looked at the bowl of strange liquid with green light, his body was full of cold air. The rabbit was very impatient, but he didn't eat or drink for most of the day, and he looked like he was about to faint. Xiao Ping took the opportunity to pour out the liquid in the bowl and place it in front of them. The rabbit was thirsty for a long time, and drank it all in three or two. Xiao Ping stood aside with the porcelain bowls in his hands, carefully observing their reactions. After drinking the green liquid, the rabbit immediately recovered. But before he was happy, he began to get restless, jumping around and finally biting the tree. Xiao Ping snorted in his heart, and felt that it was not good, and began to retreat gradually. In less than a stick of incense, egg-like bumps suddenly appeared on the rabbit's body, more and more, and finally merged with each other, making the rabbit gain a lot of weight. Such a strange scene is obviously not a good thing. An even more terrifying thing happened. The rabbit's body became bigger and bigger, like a balloon that was constantly inflating, and soon no limbs could be seen, and its head and body instantly turned into two huge gourd-shaped balloons. Xiao Ping's face changed, he threw down the porcelain bowl as if his hands were hot, turned around and ran away. As soon as he closed the courtyard door, there was a loud bang outside. The world is silent for a moment. Xiao Ping never imagined that the green liquid in the fairy gourd would cause such terrifying consequences. Fortunately, he didn't take it himself. 
Xiaoping looked at the emerald green gourd in his hand with a complicated expression, it's definitely useful, but what it's useful for needs to be carefully explored. After waiting for a while, Xiaoping opened the door and looked out carefully. No danger. After Xiaoping came out, he found that the rabbit's body had been blown into pieces, and the scene was terrible. The tree that tied the rabbit was actually blown apart. He has never even killed a chicken, how has he ever seen such a scene? Immediately ran back to the hospital and vomited. Afterwards, he still resisted cleaning up the scene. After everything was done, it was already evening. Xiaoping didn't have the energy to comprehend Aokigong anymore, so he fell asleep immediately. In the early morning of the second day, I was refreshed and comprehended the exercises. Although he had no sense of anger in the past year, Lao Dao explained many key points of the first level exercises very carefully. In fact, this time, I was only familiar with it once. Xiaoping quickly acquired the first level exercises in King Mugong. Feel the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, slowly incorporate it into the body, and then run the exercises. The first practice was surprisingly smooth. After a few hours, Xiaoping opened his eyes with a complicated expression. Although he can feel the aura of heaven and earth mentioned in the practice method, it seems to be near and far, so small that he can't feel it if he is not immersed a little. As for the training speed, it is even more ridiculously slow. After training for so long, the increase in the cool aura in the body can be said to be minimal. Combined with Yuan Shi's one-year training, Xiaoping smiled bitterly, my aptitude for cultivating immortals doesn't seem to be very good. Although the original body is young, the factor of qualifications cannot be ignored. The powerful medicine that the old monster used for the original body directly gave me a sense of qi. If it can be used for training, it will definitely speed up the training. It's a pity that this medicine is extremely precious, and the quantity is scarce. That old man only dispensed one dose, and the rest are roots and leaves. Ren Xiaoping wanted to break the sky, but he only had the share of Wang Mei to quench thirst. I just don't know what the green liquid of this gourd is for. Xiaoping needs to step up his exploration. He grabbed two rabbits, a few bowls, a water bag, and a few sturdy ropes again, and walked outside the Taoist temple. This time, Xiaoping decided to stay away from the Taoist temple. Is it not enough dilution last time? Xiaoping had just walked out not far when suddenly he felt that the surroundings were not quite right, so he turned back to observe carefully. Um. When did such a big piece of grass appear? Yesterday, not far from the rabbit, it was still a piece of dirt and nothing. Wait. Yesterday, the rabbit. Xiaoping thought of yesterday's green liquid, and suddenly connected his eyes. Could it be? Xiaoping hurriedly dropped the tools in his hand, went back and rummaged through the boxes, and found a book on plants. Immediately, he carefully observed this piece of grass, smelling, smelling, touching. Xiaoping's eyes became brighter and brighter, and finally he trembled slightly with excitement, sure enough. These are plants of more than ten years. Weeds have grown for more than ten years overnight. This is definitely the credit of green liquid. The only extra factor in this place in the past two days is the green liquid that was accidentally spilled yesterday. Xiaoping's heart skipped a beat and he pinched his thigh a few times. Hi hi pain. He is not dreaming. This is real. The green liquid can actually accelerate the ripening of medicinal herbs. Haha. <laughs> Such a heaven-defying thing, even if Xiaoping is an adult soul. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com can't help but laugh. I'm very lucky too. If I ripen in this way, wouldn't there be countless precious medicinal materials? My qualifications may not be enough, but I can make up for it with a huge amount of rare medicinal materials. For example, the powerful medicine that helps him generate a sense of qi is also useful for the practice of Aokigong. The raw materials for this powerful medicine were originally extremely rare. Now that he has the immortal gourd green liquid, 
he can continue to ripen this medicinal material and speed up his practice. Even if he doesn't use it himself, he can exchange it for gold and silver and become the richest man in the county just around the corner. Xiaoping couldn't hold back his excitement, he danced and began to think wildly. After a long time, he slowly woke up. Xiaoping regained his vigilance and realized a problem after Lenovo's explosion of the rabbit yesterday, is there any danger in the herbs ripened by green liquid? Xiaoping won't be relieved if he doesn't see the final facts. He picked up the two rabbits on the ground and threw them into the tall and lush grass. The rabbit is like a big man who meets the nectar for a long time, biting at the big grass like a hungry tiger, and eating it with a big mouth. After a while, the two rabbits ate their stomachs round and round, but they were still alive and kicking. Xiaoping frowned and observed carefully. After a quarter of an hour, the rabbit did not change significantly. After an hour, the rabbit was obviously more energetic. After two weeks, these two rabbits were not only sturdy and sturdy to the naked eye, but even their heads were much smarter than other rabbits. Xiaoping breathed a sigh of relief, completely reassured about the green liquid. To celebrate, he used these two rabbits to make braised rabbit meat that night. The fragrance drifts for ten miles, and the tongue is full of saliva. All the roots on Xiaoping's handle were planted in Taoist medicinal fields. These roots and hairs are all left over from old-fashioned medicine. Pour out an appropriate amount of green liquid from the jade gourd, dilute it with a certain amount of water, and finally water it one by one. How many times to dilute it and how many years it corresponds to ripening, after his time exploration, he has fully grasped it. The rest, just wait for the roots to sprout and mature. Xiaoping then came to Lao Dao's study and began to study a prescription for Yang Jing pills. In this study, there are all the classics that Lao Dao collected in the latter half of his life, most of which are medical books. He searched for a long time, only to find the medicine that made him advance to practice qi, called Yang Jing pill. Yang Jing pills can increase the skill of the number of people practicing martial arts out of thin air, and it is invaluable. If it spreads to the rivers and lakes, it is enough to sell for sky-high prices. But this Yang Jing pill is not something that everyone can eat. If it is an ordinary person with no skill, eating it will only lead to sudden death. Lao Dao let the original body take it. Originally, it was just a fluke, but I didn't expect it to really assist in training. A few days later, Xiaoping was familiar with the prescription, and the herbs happened to be all mature at this time. Precious pills like Yang Jing pills are naturally quite difficult to make, but Xiaoping used a lot of ripening medicinal materials to make them successfully despite many difficulties. Xiaoping sat cross-legged on the futon in the quiet room and took a essence nourishing pill. After a while, a warm current gradually rose in his abdomen, and he quickly calmed down and ran the exercises. A few hours later, Xiaoping opened his eyes suspiciously, isn't it that I can directly increase my skill for a good year? Why is the refreshing breath I grew this time only 10% more than before? Compared with the last time I felt the qi, the effect of Yang Jing pills seemed to be greatly reduced. After thinking about it, he had no choice but to attribute it to cultivating immortals. After all, immortal cultivators can live for a long time and can use various spells. Those who practice martial arts are far incomparable. The energy they rely on is naturally very different. He also thought about going out early, but there are so many poisonous insects and beasts in the mountains that he can't deal with it now. In this way, Xiaoping started his immortal cultivation career in the deep mountains. Practicing and ripening medicinal materials to prepare Yang Jing pills, studying the medical books left by Lao Dao, practicing celestial eye art and imperial object art. There are no years in the mountains, the days are calm like flowing water, and a year will soon pass. One day, Xiaoping wiped his eyes with his fingers, and the next moment, a blue light suddenly appeared in his eyes. Xiaoping looked around, there seemed to be no difference. When I looked at myself, I found that there was a faint green glow all over my body, and the closer it was to the dantian, the more obvious it was. One level of qi practice is great. 
although Yang Jing pill has little effect, it cannot be underestimated. The celestial eye technique is relatively simple, and he practiced it in just one month. The difficulty is another imperial art, it took him seven months to practice, and he was very unskilled. Apart from medical skills and Qigong practice, he spent the most time getting familiar with this technique. Xiao Ping suddenly stretched out his hand to the stone bench, and the airflow in his body started to run. The stone bench suddenly flew up, and under his control, it moved left and right, turned up and down, and was extremely flexible. If you use the sky eye technique to check, you will find that a thin blue light extends from his hand, which is connected to the stone bench. Xiao Ping nodded, the proficiency in imperial art is enough, and the fire is enough, you can set off to find the rest of Aoki Gong. Over the past year, it is naturally impossible for Lao Dao to learn all of his medical skills. He can only select the core parts to study, which happened to be mastered not long ago. Xiao Ping cleaned up the Taoist temple, took the old Taoist sword, and walked out of the mountain. After half a day, Xiao Ping panted and looked at the deep mountain behind him, still terrified. After leaving the mountain, it was no longer appropriate to carry a sharp sword, so Xiao Ping simply hid it and turned to leave. A few days later, outside Xiao Yuan village. The dirt road with potholes, huts, piles of straw, everything is so familiar. Xiao Ping's heart surged, but he finally stopped. The memories melted into his brain are not just mechanical images, but also physical pain, sadness, and joy. Everything is indistinguishable from his personal experience. Even though he has regarded this family as blood relatives, the torture of the old way, the concept of the past life, the enemies in the future, the way of cultivating immortals, almost all factors are destined that he can no longer serve the near future. Suddenly, Lao Dao's letter sounded, and he instantly felt the price of asking immortals. Xiao Ping's eyes were sour, but he still traced carefully with his eyes, as if he wanted to engrave his memory. Unconsciously, the night was quiet. Xiao Ping took out a piece of beautiful jade cast it into his parents' room, and turned away the next moment. After that, it was the separation of immortals and mortals. Xiao's father and Xiao's mother seemed to feel something and woke up together. His father, there seems to be movement, is there a thief? I'll take a look, my mother. Come here. It's actually a piece of jade. It's worth a lot of money at a glance. How can there be jade, I just swiped it. It must be Ping'er. I said long ago that Ping'er will definitely become an immortal. Father Xiao suddenly felt that the little jade was extremely heavy. The younger sister was lost since childhood, the second son went to learn martial arts but never came back, I thought that the old man had real skills, but after taking the fourth son with him, there was no news. Father Xiao rubbed the beautiful jade in his hand, and his vision gradually blurred, Ping'er has indeed become an immortal and flew to the sky. A few months later, Xiao Ping reached the vicinity of Fengluo Mountain successfully by relying on one-handed magic and his body which improved greatly after practicing King Mugong. How does Lea Dao hide the cultivation techniques of immortals in the martial arts of Jianghu? Xiao Ping was crowded with people in the ruined temple, and was very depressed. The place is safe enough to not have to worry about being stolen, but it took a lot of trouble when he came to get it. He has no means of attack, and is almost no different from ordinary children. The sneak attack of the imperial object technique may be able to make merit, but when facing the enemy, it is far inferior to those who have been practicing martial arts all the year round. Not to mention, there must be countless blockades in the Red Whale Gate. It seems that the only way to get into the Red Whale Gate is to find a way. After Xiao Ping made up his mind, he turned his ears and carefully paid attention to the surrounding discussions. Since practicing Aoki Gong, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu.com his insensitivity seems to be a little sharper than before. After a long time, I captured useful information from the mouth of a beggar who just came in, Kui Er, have you figured it out? Is this red whale sect still accepting disciples? 
It does accept disciples, but the requirements are extremely strict. To receive the first one, the age must be under 12 years old. It's over, I'm 17. As soon as the words fell, the temple was full of laments. Secondly, there are requirements for children's martial arts qualifications. I heard that the assessment of qualifications can beat more than half of them. Xiaoping's heart suddenly sank. As for the qualifications of martial arts, Lao Dao's study is also involved. He tried it himself roughly in combination with books, and found that it was extremely ordinary, even a little out of place. If he relies on qualifications, it is not very likely that he will be earned. Ah, this. There was another wailing in the temple. Most of the people who gathered near the Red Whale Gate would like to worship and learn martial arts. Just. Except for this, are there any exceptions? Yes, if you have enough money, you don't need any conditions. Xiaoping could do this, and he did think of using gold to smash the Red Whale door open. But he waited for a long time and finally decided to give up. He is only about ten, and it is almost impossible to bring the gold from such a distance. Even if you succeed in this way, you will be suspicious and lead to countless investigations. Anything else? The beggar frowned and thought for a long time. He wanted to shake his head, but suddenly his eyes lit up, right? People with medical talent can enter directly after verification. There was another snort and sigh in the temple, but Xiao Ping's eyes lit up in the corner. Age is a preliminary verification, carried out at the foot of the mountain. Xiao Ping got into the carriage with the person who passed by after his bone age was measured. The carriage was closed the whole way, and after a long swaying time, it slowly stopped. When more than thirty children got off the car, they were deeply fascinated by the crimson sunset glow and the red leaves all over the mountains. He continued to move forward until urged by the protector. The Red Whale sect has been established for more than one hundred years, but it was originally a small gang that did not enter the mainstream. Until a few decades ago, with the help of a strange man, the then sect master annexed one of the two major sects in San Yuan County in just a few years. When Xiao Ping saw the people he met along the way, all of them were walking like tigers, their eyes were like lightning, and his heart suddenly shuddered. From this point of view, the Red Whale Gate is obviously not weak, which is very unfavorable for taking away the Aoki art. More than thirty children were taken to an earthen house, where they slept overnight. In the dream, Xiao Ping became an immortal, and when he waved his hand, the sky and the earth shook, the sun and the moon dimmed. Early the next morning, Xiao Ping, nine people who had entered the sect with talent in medical skills, were taken away by the guardian. I don't know when, the surrounding is full of tall and dense woods, and even the sun can't shine in, making people feel cold. Xiao Ping frowned slightly and quietly stared at the guardian. This Dharma protector, or the Red Whale Gate, what exactly do you want to do with them? The ground began to become wet, and the mist in the air became thicker and thicker. Xiao Ping looked at the mist suspiciously, suddenly his expression froze, and he immediately covered his nose. According to Lao Dao's medical books, such an environment is generally filled with toxicity. Although the toxicity is extremely weak, if there is no precaution and a large amount of inhalation, the consequences are still extremely serious. But he has already inhaled the poisonous gas, and even if he realizes this now, it is only slowing down the spread of the poison. Aoki Gong can at most enhance the physique, but it has no power and is not resistant to poison at all. If he hadn't studied the old-fashioned medical skills and discovered it in time, he would definitely have died in this forest. With a bang, a child fell down. The rest of the children had been terrified and unwell for a long time, and now they finally couldn't help it, Senior. He fainted. Help him. I, well, it hurts. Lord Protector. This, what's going on? The Protector just glanced at them coldly, still expressionless, this road is full of all kinds of poisonous gases, poisonous flowers, and poisonous weeds. As long as you go out safely, you are an official disciple. 
If you don't go out, but you are still alive by noon, you can become a registered disciple. In other words, in other cases, there is only a dead end. There is no way out. After everyone heard this, their faces turned extremely pale. They don't have any talent for medical skills, and they don't even know what is poisonous and what is not. Xiaoping never imagined that the assessment of medical talent would be so dangerous. In both his lifetimes, he was ordinary, ordinary, and poor, and it was impossible for him to have such invaluable talents as medical skills. If this verification is really only based on talent, he will definitely die. A sturdy young man suddenly stood up to resist, you 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 you. I won't enter the red whale gate. Someone took the lead, and the children began to cry one after another. I want to go home. I do not. The protector snorted coldly, raised his hand slightly, and saw the phantom flickering, and then looking closely, it seemed that it didn't move at all. But the next moment, he heard a bang, and the boy flew out with a whoosh, fell to the ground ruthlessly, and spit out blood. I was unable to struggle for a moment, and gradually lost my breath. The woods became dead silent in an instant, only to hear the chirping of jackdaws. If anyone doesn't want to continue the test, I'll send you on your way now. The children were silent. Xiaoping was also shocked. The other party was too quick to react. He couldn't even see whether the other party was moving or not. Martial arts are so powerful. Not to mention the masters like Lao Dao, even this little protector in front of him can easily kill him. If you want to get chestnuts out of fire, Imperial art is definitely not enough. I have to practice other martial arts. The protector snorted coldly and walked forward, and the child hurriedly followed. Martial arts are so powerful, how powerful is the magic of the cultivator? A faint obsession appeared in Xiao Ping's eyes, he clenched his fists, and walked behind the crowd. Next, two more people died one after another. In that forest, Xiaoping and others walked extremely long and extremely difficult. When the five people gradually walked out, they all turned pale and trembled slightly. When everyone looked up at the next level, they all gasped. The trees are sparse and low, of various species, and the ground is covered with various flowers and plants. But if you look closely, you can see that among the seemingly quiet leaves and flowers, there are also a variety of weird bugs hidden. As long as you get out of this forest, you can become the official disciples of my Red Whale sect. By the way, your breakfast will be in the woods. After the protector finished speaking, he tapped his toes and flew away instantly. The two girls finally couldn't bear it anymore and burst into tears. Not only to identify poisonous flowers and poisonous weeds, but also to suffer from various poisonous insects. Except for Xiaoping. The four of them are extremely regretful, why do they think this is simple, why do they want to take advantage of medical talent? When Xiaoping saw the woods in front of him, his heart suddenly relaxed slightly. Because of the plants inside, he actually knew part of it. Most of these plants are poisonous, and a few are healing and detoxifying, and he can make full use of the latter. Common sense from the past life such as good-looking appearance is often poisonous, wild mushrooms are mostly inedible, and the strong odor is to drive away predators. It can also eliminate many poisonous plants. Yu Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com coupled with the principles of medicine discrimination learned from the Taoist study, it was enough for him to pass the test. Those medical books can save my life at this time. It really didn't cost me a whole year of hard study. Xiaoping secretly rejoiced. Instead of waiting here to die, it's better to gamble inside once. Xiaoping tried his best to look like a child and walked into the woods first. In just half an hour, two of the other four children fell down again. Xiaoping was eating a non-poisonous fruit. When he turned around and found this, he immediately acted, if it goes on like this, these two people will definitely die. Xiaoping was a little anxious. If he wants to take away Aoki Gong smoothly, the less conspicuous the better. If he is the only one who goes out in the end, 
with the title of medical genius, he will attract a lot of attention and run counter to his purpose. Little by little, Xiaoping began to approach the two of them inconspicuously, and unintentionally let him discover his test results. What troubled him was that one of the children didn't believe him at all, and walked away with a vigilant look, and finally died in the woods. The last child tried to pass out several times. Under Xiaoping's trembling eyes, he finally followed him. There is still half an hour before noon. If it is a person who has no talent and relies on luck to pass the test, he should pass out at this time. Xiaoping picked a piece of poisonous grass, hesitated for a moment, and finally ate it firmly. After an unknown amount of time, Xiaoping breathed a sigh of relief when he opened his eyes. When Xiaoping woke up, he found that he was no longer in trouble. The red whale gate really detoxified me. The protector came over with another child, changing the indifference from before, you have passed the test of the red whale gate, and you will be your own brother from now on. Yu San and Bin Jiun, send them to Elder Shi. Yes. The two young people led Xiao Ping out. Elder Shi? As soon as you enter the door, you can worship at the elder's door? This is too easy. Xiao Ping couldn't help but ask. You are truly lucky to pass such a dangerous test. Elder Shi has the highest medical skills in my red whale gate. This test of medical talent is specially designed for him to select talents for the elderly. A baby-faced senior brother explained, with a tone of fear or envy. Another lean man nodded solemnly, even if I wait for the martial arts practitioners to enter, if there is no preparation in advance, it will not be intact. In the past ten years, no more than twenty people have passed. And all of them, like you, fainted due to poisoning, and were lucky to survive until noon before being rescued. In other words, no one has successfully walked out of the poisonous forest yet. In Xiaoping's heart, he immediately shouted for joy. If he really went out alive, I'm afraid there will be countless eyes staring at him, and it will be difficult for him to find a chance to take Aoki Gong. This elder Shi is a legendary figure. The lean young man's expression changed, and he interrupted immediately, Yu San. You don't want to die. Don't bring up the matter of his old man casually. Yu San hurriedly looked around in panic, and he was relieved when no one heard him. Xiao Ping secretly paid attention and decided to investigate carefully in the future. The next few people stopped talking and moved slowly along the mountain road and woods. Xiao Ping felt more and more strange in his heart, and the more he walked, the more he felt that the surroundings were vaguely familiar. But he never came here. The group turned east and west, and finally reached a lush green valley. On the steel in front of the valley, there are three simple characters of Feng Yang Valley. When Xiao Ping saw these three words, his pupils shrank instantly, like a thunderbolt from the blue. He finally remembered why the familiarity came. Lao Dao's Jinbo map is in the center of the marked red circle, which is the target of his infiltration into the red whale gate it is this Feng Yang Valley. Xiao Ping was in shock and doubts, causing layers of waves. Suddenly, the sleeve was gently pulled, and it was Yu San who reminded him to bow down and wait. Beep, beep, beep. An old man in his sixties, with a sallow complexion and withered hair, walked out slowly with a cane. It seemed that every step was extremely strenuous and he was about to fall. But the strange thing is that the sound of the crutches hitting the ground is regular and loud, and every sound seems to hit the heart. I've seen Elder Shi. This time I recruited disciples. Two children survived in the woods. Please show me the elders. Well, you go down. This elder Shi, who seems to be very sick, has the majesty of a superior, his tone is obviously kind, but he looks at them as if he is looking at ants. Bin Jiun and the two seemed to be very afraid of Elder Shi, and they disappeared like Fei. Elder Shi's gaze swept over, Xiao Ping felt as if he was being stared at by a manating beast. At that moment, Xiao Ping suddenly felt a chilling killing intent. But in the blink of an eye, Everything is business as usual. A hallucination? 
what is certain is that this Elder Stone's martial arts are unfathomable. Elder Shi led the two into the valley, before a row of connected houses, and pointed to the smaller one, except for serious injuries and serious illnesses, most people don't come here. You two will live here in the future. Let's rest here for the time being, and come to see me tomorrow morning. You can call me Lao Shi, Dr. Shi, or Master. Xiaoping and the two immediately said in unison, Yes, Master. Elder Shi didn't know whether he heard it or not, and walked straight to the largest and most imposing house on the other side. After a long time, I heard the sound of even breathing coming from the other bed. Xiaoping opened his eyes with a complicated expression. I thought it would take a lot of experience to break through the blockade and get close to the treasure. The result was quite shocking, and he entered Fengyang Valley effortlessly. But Xiaoping also didn't expect that there was a martial arts master living here. Wanting to take things away from the other party is simply harder than going to the sky. What's more, the specific location where Aokigong was hidden was not marked in detail on the map, and he needed to find out little by little. This will undoubtedly take a lot of time. What is even more disturbing is that there seems to be no one else in Fengyang Valley besides them. Where did those who passed the previous year go? This elder Shi is like a mountain in the mist, making people feel stressed, but also full of secrets. Xiaoping thought about it for a long time, his fatigue gradually rose, his head was dizzy, and he simply fell asleep. Get up get up Xiaoping was awakened by a childish voice, slowly opened his eyes, and saw a dark boy crawling in front of the bed. This is another child under the door of Elder Shi, Li Shi. Hurry up and eat, let's go to see Master after eating. Li Shi handed him two steaming steamed buns. Xiaoping hesitated for a moment, took the steamed bun and sniffed it, then said happily, smell good. Not poisonous. Having experienced the old-fashioned things, it was hard for him not to be wary. Like an old man, no one knows what kind of plans are hidden under the friendly and friendly appearance. Thank you. Brother Li. This kid looks bigger than his original body. He also ate two steamed buns, so it's okay to call him that. Li Shi looked flattered and stumbled a bit when he spoke, no. It's okay, I'm used to doing it. I need help with anything, tell me, I can't do anything else, at least I have the strength, by the way, people in the village call me Shishi. Xiaoping finished eating in two or three times, well, Brother Stone, let's go see Master. Li Shi let out a hum and followed Xiaoping to Elder Shi's room. Elder Shi was sitting outside the door, reading a book with relish, as if the two of them didn't exist at all. Xiaoping glanced at it. The book cover was wrapped in cardboard, and he couldn't see what kind of book it was. After a long time, Elder Shi said quietly, From today onwards, the two of you are my registered disciples. But for the first half year, you will learn to refine and collect herbs, study medical skills, and save people. You can read the medical books in the Red Whale Gate Collection Pavilion. After half a year, there will be a real person assessment for you and you will decide to stay or stay based on the results. Xiaoping frowned slightly, have all the previous people been driven down the mountain? I only teach medicine, not martial arts. If you really want to learn, you can go to the library and choose one by yourself, and then ask the teacher for advice. After Elder Shi finished speaking, he gave them two wooden plagues and bowed his hands. Signal the two to leave. Xiaoping didn't completely relax until he left the valley. In front of Elder Shi, he did not dare to show any strangeness. Xiaoping gradually walked away, turned back to look at Fenjiang Wu, his face was cloudy and uncertain, it seems extremely dangerous here, have I entered the tiger's den again? It's not like Xiaoping has never practiced the inner strength method. On the way to the Red Whale Gate, every time he cultivated a little bit of inner strength, he would melt into the cool air of Aokigong. So when choosing martial arts in the library, he directly skipped the internal skills and chose a set of needle moves called Leading Flying Needle. Using needles as weapons, firstly, medicine often uses silver needles, 
so it won't make people feel strange. Secondly, his body preserving art can perfectly replace the effect of thread, without losing or even far exceeding the power of the original trick. Li Shi obviously didn't have this trouble, and the doctor is usually not in danger in the Red Whale Gate, so Xiao Ping helped him choose an internal skill that was not very powerful at first, but accumulated a lot. In the following days, Xiao Ping taught himself medicine in the library in the morning, and practiced flying needle in the afternoon. He tried to practice using imperial artifacts directly, but he had no choice but to give up after a few days. With his level of Aokigong cultivation, he couldn't support a few practice of imperial object art at all. Since a lot of practice according to the original version, the progress of flying needle has really accelerated greatly. As for medical skills, Xiao Ping also made rapid progress. Most of the medical books in the library are simple and popular, far inferior to those in the Lao Dao study. Although he has no medical talent, after all, he has mastered the core medical skills of Lao Dao, which naturally can't be difficult for him. Of course, the purpose of his trip is Aokigong, so naturally, the more Loki the better. Under Xiao Ping's disguise, no one knew this. A month later, Li Shi learned the basics of martial arts, such as literacy and hyphenation, the Eight Meridians, and Zimabu, so he separated from the other boys and learned with Xiao Ping. Although Li Shi didn't know anything before getting started, he was willing to work hard and study hard. Naturally, the result will not fail this effort, although it can't make up the gap with Xiao Ping, it is unparalleled among his peers. This child is simple, simple, and willing to work hard. When he is sincere and has no plans, Xiao Ping naturally regards him as a friend. During this period, Xiao Ping always wanted to search Feng Yang Valley, but because of the presence of Elder Shi, he never had the chance. Speaking of Elder Shi, Xiao Ping also secretly inquired about it these days. The other party is the front door owner of the Red Whale sect, and it was Elder Shi who invited a strange person to help him to lead the Scarlet Whale sect to rapidly rise to the top of the county. Originally, he could lead the Red Whale sect to continue to grow, but a battle twenty years ago made all this impossible. In that battle, no one knew the inside story, because no one except Elder Shi survived. Even the extraordinary man with outstanding merits is missing, and his whereabouts are still unknown. Although Elder Shi survived, he was seriously injured and could no longer be the head of the sect. Even his temperament has become very strange, and his residence has become more and more remote, and finally moved to Fengyang Valley. Knowing this, Xiao Ping breathed a sigh of relief. That was the internal battle of the Red Whale sect a long time ago, and it had nothing to do with him, so it shouldn't affect him. While Xiao Ping was preparing for the assessment, Aoki Kung Fu actually gave him a big surprise. Since he left the Taoist temple in the mountains, he has been insisting on practicing the first level exercises of Aoki Gong, and the cold air in his body seems to be more and more condensed and thick. After such a few months have passed, in the second month after he entered the Red Whale Gate, when he was cultivating, his body suddenly felt like a piece of paper shattered. Xiao Ping was stunned for a moment, unable to believe it, could it be that Aoki Gong reached the second floor? It was only after several years that he realized that this was called breaking through the bottleneck. The breakthrough of the first level cultivation technique is naturally a special surprise, the power of the imperial artifact has also increased, the five senses seem to be more sensitive, and the body seems to be better. But what makes Xiao Ping laugh and cry is, he doesn't have the second level practice of Aoki Gong. After thinking for a long time, he decided to try to continue to operate the first layer after all, the second layer also makes the cold air in the body stronger. Xiao Ping moves carefully. After a while, he opened his eyes in surprise, sure enough. Although the effect is not even half of the original, but after all, this is the only way he can continue to practice. In this way, he quietly cultivated while secretly paying attention to Elder Shi's movements. In order to avoid the exposure of the Jade Gourd, Xiao Ping did not ripen the elixir or take Yang Jing pills. 
After Xiao Ping broke through to the second level of King Miogong, because his five senses were more sensitive, he even had a vague illusion, it seems that someone is often scrutinizing him intentionally or unintentionally. This shocked Xiao Ping. But in a blink of an eye, Elder Shi was looking at the hard-covered book to himself, as if there was a priceless treasure hidden in it. No one pays attention to him. But this inexplicable feeling lingered, causing Xiao Ping to doubt his previous judgment, what the does this Elder Shi want to do? Xiao Ping couldn't help but be more careful to avoid being seen by the other party. Originally, there was no chance to find Aoki Gong, but the turning point happened in the fourth month of entry. On this day, Elder Shi called the two in front of him, the two of you have been studying yourself in the library for almost four months, and the basic medical theory and prescriptions should be almost the same. You can start collecting medicines and putting them into practice. Except for my house, which is ten feet in diameter, you you reading www.uuganchu. You can pick any medicinal materials near Fengyang Valley. Elder Shi asked them to collect herbs in Fengyang Valley, which made him feel quite strange. But after Xiao Ping checked carefully, everything seemed to make sense, thanks to the disciples' fear of Elder Shi, only the vicinity of Fengyang Valley has a large number of medicinal materials, and it seems that they have everything from one or two years to more than ten years. In addition, in other places in the Red Whale Gate, all the plants that can be used as medicine have been picked clean. But even so, Xiao Ping did not act rashly. Just keep an eye out for possible hiding places between the herbs. Combining the observations of the previous months, after waiting for a long time, I found that at the end of each month, Elder Shi would leave the Red Whale Gate for five days. This discovery is extremely surprising. In his patient waiting, the day came for Elder Shi to leave. After confirming that the other party had completely exited the Red Whale Gate, Xiao Ping took a deep breath and started from the periphery of the red circle marked by Jinbo, while pretending to identify or picking herbs, while looking for possible treasure places. Elder Shi's martial arts are unfathomable, and his whole person is extremely strange. If he is hit by him while searching, the consequences will be unimaginable. Simply everything went smoothly. In the blink of an eye, another two months passed. Xiao Ping's search went extremely smoothly. Everyone in the Red Whale sect was afraid of Elder Shi, so he never came to disturb him. He also chose to go out with Elder Shi before acting, and naturally he was not caught by the other party. But the only fly in the ointment is that he also didn't find Aoki Gong. I searched all outside Fengyang Valley. It seems that Aoki Gong must be inside Fengyang Valley. Half a year has come and tomorrow they will be assessed and decided on their stay. In order to obtain Aoki Gong, he must continue to stay at the Red Whale Gate. Half a year passed in a flash. Xiao Ping and the other finally stood in front of Elder Shi for the assessment. Today is to test your talent. Elder Shi led the two to the big wooden hut dedicated to the sick. The two lying down were both dark-faced and unconscious, obviously poisoned. Seeing this scene, Li Shi suddenly trembled slightly and was at a loss, and was next to Xiao Ping. Xiao Ping's physique is better and more able to endure because of King Miu Gong. Although Li Shi's efforts are not comparable to him, he can definitely be called serious and diligent, but after all, he has only studied for half a year. Moreover, there is no content of detoxification and drug production in the library, and he will not detoxify at all. Not to mention Li Shi, even Xiao Ping was upset. Although Xiao Ping has inherited the core of the old Taoist medical skills, and has extensively studied classics for half a year, his medical skills have improved qualitatively, but he has never really saved anyone. What's more, the poison in the two people in front of him is extremely powerful at first glance, and he has no certainty to solve it. Detoxification requires pulse checking, poison identification, and medication. It is a general test for what you have learned. I met these two patients at the foot of the mountain. Let's start. Elder Shi narrowed his eyes, sat on the chair beside him, and looked at the two of them coldly. 
This feeling is too familiar it's the same as the eyes that looked from behind before. Xiao Ping's heart suddenly thumped, it seems that that person is indeed Elder Shi. For sure. But I had never seen each other before, and it was impossible to talk about offending. Li Shi had already started to scrambling to check his pulse, but he couldn't recognize the poison, nor could it cure it. He was as anxious as an ant on a hot pot, sweating profusely. I tried to take medicine, but the poison did not weaken by half. Half an hour later, Li Shi lowered his head with a flushed face, and rubbed his hands in front of him as if he had done something wrong, panicking. Elder Shi didn't seem to be surprised, just a little disappointed, and then stared straight at Xiao Ping, it's your turn. Facing Elder Shi's needle-like gaze, Xiao Ping didn't seem to notice. He didn't know what the other party's purpose was. But if he doesn't even pass the assessment, he won't have the chance to find Aoki art again. Xiao Ping pretended to be a child, pretending to be calm, but in reality he was flustered. Raising the other person's wrist, he began to feel the pulse, look at the eyes, smell the smell. Um? This is... Xiao Ping's eyes narrowed, he opened his inner shirt and looked at his left chest carefully, and he found an invisible poisonous spot. He focused on identifying the poison, but he didn't realize that Elder Shi suddenly grabbed the handrail tightly, and a flash of light flashed in his eyes. After a while, Xiao Ping's heart was settled. In Lao Dao's study, this poisonous prescription was caught in a book, and he saw it when it fell out accidentally. The medicinal materials used to prepare this poison are quite rare and extremely poisonous. However, the medicinal materials needed for the antidote are not uncommon, and the medicinal herbs provided by the assessment are included. Although the solution is not difficult, it is also extremely biased, because the antidote is another common poison, and the proportions of various medicinal materials cannot be wrong. Otherwise, the two poisons will only promote each other, the toxicity will be greatly increased, and the poisoned person will only be killed in an instant. At that time, he felt that the poison was dangerous, so he wrote down the detailed rules for the production and detoxification of poison just in case. But I didn't expect that at this time, I could actually use it. When Xiao Ping was taking the medicine, he suddenly thought of Elder Shi's gaze, and he couldn't help feeling very troubled. He was a teen-year-old mountain village child at this time, under normal circumstances, where would there be such a detoxification method? But this poison must be solved, otherwise he will be kicked out of the Red Whale sect. After a second thought, Xiao Ping had a plan in his heart. I saw that he seemed to be in a hurry, randomly picking and dispensing medicines, and feeding the poisoned people one after another. After a while, Xiao Ping stepped aside with a face of shame, as if he could do nothing about the poison. Li Shi, who was beside him, quietly gave him a comforting look. Elder Shi stared at him blankly for a long time, and finally got up and walked to the bedside of his patient, pinching his wrist and taking the pulse. Um. Elder Shi's eyes suddenly widened, staring at the poisoned person as if he couldn't believe it. Even the face of the zombie, which has always been expressionless, showed deep surprise. After Elder Shi was in a hurry, he carefully checked the pulse again, and his body trembled with excitement. He pulled up his right hand to check the pulse again, and then checked the whole length of his body as if he didn't believe in evil. Ha ha ha! Antidote! Yes, this is the antidote! Ha ha ha! After Elder Shi took a closer look, he laughed out loud, as if he had been squeezed for a long time with pain, pleasure, a and d. Hatred? Xiao Ping's heart suddenly thumped. I hope the other party doesn't notice that he will detoxify. Elder Shi quickly calmed down and stared at Xiao Ping coldly in a blink of an eye, his eyes seemed to be poisoned. Master, I just grabbed a few herbs, I don't know what's going on. Elder Shi seemed to have sensed something was wrong, and his previous expression faded in an instant, revealing a strange kind smile, not bad. Not bad. It seems that you are indeed extremely talented in medicine. From now on, you will be my direct disciple. 
Xiao Ping was immediately apprehensive. But as long as the other party doesn't attack him, he still has a chance. Li Shi looked at Xiao Ping blankly, with shock, envy, loss, sadness in his eyes. As for you, you can't go far if you don't have enough talent, and it's extremely reluctant to study medicine here. Li Shi lowered his head sourly, tears welling in his eyes, obviously he didn't get lazy for a moment, but in the end. But thinking is good in your perseverance, maybe you can be a talent in martial arts. I have a good external practice here, which is far more suitable for you than medical skills. As long as you practice diligently, the sword will be hard to hurt in the future. Li Shi was stunned. Seeing a book handed over in front of him, he quickly wiped his eyes and took it excitedly, Thank you Master. Master's great kindness and great virtue, the disciple will never forget it. Elder Shi paused slightly, with a strange look on his face, and then waved to him. Holding the secret book, Li Shi glanced at Xiao Ping with a complicated expression. The next moment, he turned and left. Xiao Ping was also not feeling well, and even felt a little guilty. For the past five or six months, he has been telling the other party no, do not understand and impossible to pass the test, but in the assessment he was detoxified. Wei Wei sighed, she had no choice but to expose her medical skills. After this assessment, Xiao Ping has determined that Elder Shi has ill intentions. But for the sake of Aoki Gong, he naturally couldn't leave. It would be better for Li Shi to leave this place of right and wrong as soon as possible. If I can go out safely in the future, it's not too late to ask him to explain. After becoming an official disciple, he moved out of the original wooden house. Elder Shi ordered someone to dig a stone room for him in Fengyang Valley. The stone room is built on the mountain, and even the stone gate is extremely solid and heavy, not only can the sound not penetrate, even if a master wants to forcibly enter, it is difficult to break open without cutting all his strength for several hours. This kind of quiet room was originally only qualified for some high-evil sect masters and elders. Xiao Ping thought it was very strange now that he had easily built one for himself. He felt that this might not be a good thing, and thought there was some mechanism. But after examining it carefully, inch by inch, he found nothing, so he couldn't help being surprised. It's not that he didn't think about giving up and leaving as soon as possible, but the disciples of the Red Whale sect cannot go out of the mountain at will without permission. Otherwise, they will be dealt with as traitors, and they will all be killed. What's more, about the news about cultivators or monks, they haven't had any news here all the year round. If Xiao Ping gave up the treasures in Fengyang Valley, he would probably never have the chance to cultivate immortality and enter the Dao again. In addition, the other party will give him a medical book every day, it really seems to be teaching medical skills seriously. Half a year passed in a flash. Xiao Ping and the other finally stood in front of Elder Shi for the assessment. Today is to test your talent. Elder Shi led the two to the big wooden hut dedicated to the sick. The two lying down were both dark-faced and unconscious, obviously poisoned. Seeing this scene, Li Shi suddenly trembled slightly and was at a loss, and was next to Xiao Ping. Xiao Ping's physique is better and more able to endure because of King Miu Gong. Although Li Shi's efforts are not comparable to him, he can definitely be called serious and diligent, but after all, he has only studied for half a year. Moreover, there is no content of detoxification and drug production in the library, and he will not detoxify at all. Not to mention Li Shi, even Xiao Ping was upset. Although Xiao Ping has inherited the core of the old Taoist medical skills, and has extensively studied classics for half a year, his medical skills have improved qualitatively, but he has never really saved anyone. What's more, the poison in the two people in front of him is extremely powerful at first glance, and he has no certainty to solve it. Detoxification requires pulse checking, poison identification, and medication. It is a general test for what you have learned. I met these two patients at the foot of the mountain. Let's start. Elder Shi narrowed his eyes, sat on the chair beside him, and looked at the two of them coldly. 
This feeling is too familiar it's the same as the eyes that looked from behind before. Xiao Ping's heart suddenly thumped, it seems that that person is indeed Elder Shi. For sure. But I had never seen each other before, and it was impossible to talk about offending. Li Shi had already started to scrambling to check his pulse, but he couldn't recognize the poison, nor could it cure it. He was as anxious as an ant on a hot pot, sweating profusely. I tried to take medicine, but the poison did not weaken by half. Half an hour later, Li Shi lowered his head with a flushed face, and rubbed his hands in front of him as if he had done something wrong, panicking. Elder Shi didn't seem to be surprised, just a little disappointed, and then stared straight at Xiao Ping, it's your turn. Facing Elder Shi's needle-like gaze, Xiao Ping didn't seem to notice. He didn't know what the other party's purpose was. But if he doesn't even pass the assessment, he won't have the chance to find Aoki art again. Xiao Ping pretended to be a child, pretending to be calm, but in reality he was flustered. Raising the other person's wrist, he began to feel the pulse, look at the eyes, smell the smell. Um? This is... Xiao Ping's eyes narrowed, he opened his inner shirt and looked at his left chest carefully, and he found an invisible poisonous spot. He focused on identifying the poison, but he didn't realize that Elder Shi suddenly grabbed the handrail tightly, and a flash of light flashed in his eyes. After a while, Xiao Ping's heart was settled. In Lao Dao's study, this poisonous prescription was caught in a book, and he saw it when it fell out accidentally. The medicinal materials used to prepare this poison are quite rare and extremely poisonous. However, the medicinal materials needed for the antidote are not uncommon, and the medicinal herbs provided by the assessment are included. Although the solution is not difficult, it is also extremely biased, because the antidote is another common poison, and the proportions of various medicinal materials cannot be wrong. Otherwise, the two poisons will only promote each other the toxicity will be greatly increased, and the poisoned person will only be killed in an instant. At that time, he felt that the poison was dangerous, so he wrote down the detailed rules for the production and detoxification of poison just in case. But I didn't expect that at this time, I could actually use it. When Xiao Ping was taking the medicine, he suddenly thought of Elder Shi's gaze, and he couldn't help feeling very troubled. He was a teen-year-old mountain village child at this time, under normal circumstances, where would there be such a detoxification method? But this poison must be solved, otherwise he will be kicked out of the Red Whale sect. After a second thought, Xiao Ping had a plan in his heart. I saw that he seemed to be in a hurry, randomly picking and dispensing medicines, and feeding the poisoned people one after another. After a while, Xiao Ping stepped aside with a face of shame, as if he could do nothing about the poison. Li Shi, who was beside him, quietly gave him a comforting look. Elder Shi stared at him blankly for a long time, and finally got up and walked to the bedside of his patient, pinching his wrist and taking the pulse. Um. Elder Shi's eyes suddenly widened, staring at the poisoned person as if he couldn't believe it. Even the face of the zombie which has always been expressionless, showed deep surprise. After Elder Shi was in a hurry, he carefully checked the pulse again, and his body trembled with excitement. He pulled up his right hand to check the pulse again, and then checked the whole length of his body as if he didn't believe in evil. Ha ha ha! Antidote! Yes, this is the antidote! Ha ha ha! After Elder Shi took a closer look, he laughed out loud, as if he had been squeezed for a long time with pain, pleasure, a and d. Hatred? Xiao Ping's heart suddenly thumped. I hope the other party doesn't notice that he will detoxify. Elder Shi quickly calmed down and stared at Xiao Ping coldly in a blink of an eye, his eyes seemed to be poisoned. Master, I just grabbed a few herbs, I don't know what's going on. Elder Shi seemed to have sensed something was wrong and his previous expression faded in an instant, revealing a strange kind smile, not bad. Not bad. It seems that you are indeed extremely talented in medicine. From now on, you will be my direct disciple. 
Xiaoping was immediately apprehensive. But as long as the other party doesn't attack him, he still has a chance. Li Shi looked at Xiaoping blankly, with shock, envy, loss, sadness in his eyes. As for you, you can't go far if you don't have enough talent, and it's extremely reluctant to study medicine here. Li Shi lowered his head sourly, tears welling in his eyes, obviously he didn't get lazy for a moment, but in the end. But thinking is good in your perseverance, maybe you can be a talent in martial arts. I have a good external practice here, which is far more suitable for you than medical skills. As long as you practice diligently, the sword will be hard to hurt in the future. Li Shi was stunned. Seeing a book handed over in front of him, he quickly wiped his eyes and took it excitedly, Thank you Master. Master's great kindness and great virtue, the disciple will never forget it. Elder Shi paused slightly, Yu Yu reading www. There was a strange look on Yukansha.com's face, and then he waved to him. Holding the secret book, Li Shi glanced at Xiaoping with a complicated look, and turned away the next moment. Xiaoping was also not feeling well, and even felt a little guilty. For the past five or six months, he has been telling the other party no, do not understand and impossible to pass the test, but in the assessment he was detoxified. Wei Wei sighed, she had no choice but to expose her medical skills. After this assessment, Xiaoping has determined that Elder Shi has ill intentions. But for the sake of Aoki Gong, he naturally couldn't leave. It would be better for Li Shi to leave this place of right and wrong as soon as possible. If I can go out safely in the future, it's not too late to ask him to explain. After becoming an official disciple, he moved out of the original wooden house. Elder Shi ordered someone to dig a stone room for him in Fengyang Valley. The stone room is built on the mountain, and even the stone gate is extremely solid and heavy, not only can the sound not penetrate, even if a master wants to forcibly enter, it is difficult to break open without cutting all his strength for several hours. This kind of quiet room was originally only qualified for some high-evil sect masters and elders. Xiaoping thought it was very strange now that he had easily built one for himself. He felt that this might not be a good thing, and thought there was some mechanism. But after examining it carefully, inch by inch, he found nothing, so he couldn't help being surprised. It's not that he didn't think about giving up and leaving as soon as possible, but the disciples of the Red Whale sect cannot go out of the mountain at will without permission. Otherwise, they will be dealt with as traitors, and they will all be killed. What's more, about the news about cultivators or monks, they haven't had any news here all the year round. If Xiaoping gave up the treasures in Fengyang Valley, he would probably never have the chance to cultivate immortality and enter the Dao again.